This is a Tektronix Model 528 NTSC waveform monitor. This is basically, for those of you that don't know, an oscilloscope for measuring uh, video signal, I should say analog NTSC signal levels and timing. And it's basically a modified uh, oscilloscope for that purpose. And I picked this up at the swap meet a while back and it has this problem as you'll see. Okay, so here's a look at the problem I'm having. As you see, it, it looks like, on the camera, it looks like a one solid line, but actually there's a, uh, this should be a flat, a thin flat line, obviously, and there's a lot of bleed happening below it, basically. So there's something going on with the uh, deflection. This may be 60 cycle noise from the power supply getting in or it may be something else. I'll go ahead and put a video signal into this and you can see more of uh, what's going on. Okay, so with a video signal going in, I've got that uh, flat line moving up and down which I believe is a 60 cycle noise that's beating with the second harmonic of the sweep 59.94 hertz so in looking things over I found that uh, this capacitor here uh, on the left that's covered in plastic because it's not at ground potential uh, one side of it failed wide open and I'm surprised the scope worked at all without this it's the main filter on a 150 volt supply so I just kind of removed the uh, leads from the failed portion and then just tack this other capacitor in it's messy but it'll get it by for now so you can download the schematic service manual the whole thing for this from um, Tektronix, which is pretty amazing, given that it's 40 years old. And uh, this one was kind of late in the production run. They started, I guess, in the late 60s, and this is a uh, about a 1977 model. But uh, if you look at the, uh, I've got the, the part of the schematic up here, the power transformer, and the, uh, looks like a full wave bridge. And this was uh, what went open, C512A. Again, I mean, it went completely open. I'm surprised the thing uh, worked at all. Okay, so now for a power on test. much better now it's flat flat line with no signal going in video signal in it looks uh, much better so now I'll be able to use this to uh, test uh, signal levels on uh, some, some yeah. analog uh, signal sources I'll be using uh, mainly digitizing videotapes so thank you for watching